Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Fluid Art Express. Up first we had Taslima from Taslima Mayer Art. After me we have Christy from Creations by Christy. Then Shannon from Shan B Fluid Art. Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. And Tony and Kat from the Hippie Dippy Painter Men. So stay on board and enjoy the ride. So, what I figured I'd do today is just have a little bit of fun. I have a oval here. It's about, I don't know, 14 inches by 8 inches, something like that. Black pillow paint is down. That is British Paint's Low Sheen Interior Wall Paint. It's different to the exterior stuff because the exterior stuff's quite a bit thicker than the interior. So... I want this one to move around a little bit. So what I'm going to do is grab my palette knife here. I'm going to fill it full of gold cell activator. So if you want to see how that gold cell activator is made, I'll pop the video up on the screen now for you. So that way you can suss it out and have a look. So I'm just going to smear some of that on. Like that. Then I'm going to use a couple of different coloured cell activators as well that I've made up. So this one is a blue. Not that you can see it yet, but you will in a sec. So that's the blue. And I have a purple. If I hadn't dropped the stick, oh, I would have been good. Okay, all good. So it grabs a purple. So these are just cell activators. All right, so I'm gonna start with that. Then what I'm gonna do is just do a swipe down through here. With that one. Then I'm going to get my little swipe tool. Which is this little guy here. I'm going to do the same sort of thing with that. Okay, like that. Then I'm just going to use some blue cell activator on its own. over the top of that. I might put it down through here too. Then we get other colors pop through like that. And that's just basic cell activator. Nothing special about it apart from the fact that it has Australian flow troll in it. All right, let's put some colours down. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. What shall we choose? What should we choose? Let's go bright. As if you didn't know I was going to say that, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go up through here with some neon yellow. What 
I'll show you. Some Senshi Red, which is an eye candy color. That also makes a really cool cell activator as well, by the way. Alright. Okay, some neon purple. Magma Magenta. And taffy. Don't tell bubbles. What she doesn't know won't hurt her. Beautiful blue, that. Love it. All right. So, we will grab our little swipe tool again. Put some black cell activator down this time. Through there like that then what I'm going to do is grab some black cell activator I put it on my little swipe tool grab some taffy put that on my swipe tool really hard to get it in the shot so you can actually see what I'm doing but You'll get the gist of it when you see it. And we'll put a little bit of proton purple on that too. Alright, so. All I did was put the black cell activator down, add some colour. Cool bananas. Then I might go through... Section just here. Do the same again, add some blue. And this time I'll put pink down instead. All right, that's what I'm going to start with. Move this out of the way so don't knock it all over. Grab my little skewer. Where do I put it? There it is. Little skewer. Oh, there's a camera. There it is. Then you just add some fun patterns through it. Better tie the shoelaces for bubbles. There you go. 
Now I'm not in trouble anymore. <laughs> All right. Now then, we'll give that a bit of a spin. Let's see what we end up with. Okay, so I go pretty much for the middle of the spinner to start with. Just let that spin nice and slow. You don't have to go really fast. Oh, that's looking pretty good. All right, grab a little scraper. Whoop. Knocking everything all over the place today. I'm just going to scrape off some of this excess from around the edge. Look at that. Looking pretty good. Okey dokey. We'll pop that one up. Grab my little cup here to sit it on. So that's little one. How cool is that? So anywhere that it's just missed the edges, I'm just gonna use a bit of the stuff that's spun off or the stuffy scrape off from underneath to fill any little tiny gaps that are there. Always wipe the bottom, otherwise the weight of your paint is going to want to just keep running and running and running and distorts everything that's on the top of it. Touch some of these bubbles. And I think we'll do a flyover of that because that one turned out pretty cool. I quite like that. Love the way the purple's gone into the gold cell activator. Looks crazy cool. Love it. So what I've been doing for my crazy stuff like this is using it for embellishment projects. So... I'll let that dry, leave it a couple of weeks to let the paint dry out and cure. Then I'll go in there with some surf paint pens and draw some fish on there or turtles or pretty much anything that comes to mind. So I usually create a little background that will suit the type of animal that I'm going to go for and then create a background and then draw it on later on. Then once it's all done, gets coated in resin, and looks super cool. All right, so that is it from me today. Um, up next we have Christy from Creations by Christy. So if you click on her name in the title of this video, it'll take you directly to her YouTube channel. If you're in the live chat. Just click on the links that I'm putting in there. Click on that. It will take you to her premiere. 
or if you're a member of Venom Fluid Art on Facebook, so that's Paint Pouring by Venom Fluid Art. I'll have a playlist in there. Just click on that and it will play everybody on the Express today, one after the other, so you don't even have to worry about links that way. Alright guys, if you like that, hit like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. Ding, ding. That way you get to see all my crazy stuff as I release it. Alright guys, have a good one. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.